Hello students, so let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2024 and this is really one of the very nice problem and this is from the quantum mechanics WKB approximation. So what is this particular problem? You can see, so the Hamiltonian is given that is P square by 2M plus BX that is one dimensional Hamiltonian. The potential is given that potential is minus alpha X plus uh, minus alpha X when X is less than 0 or equal to 0 and beta x when x is greater than 0 and uh, the final answer is also given it is given that the nth state have energy something like 3 by 2 s cut square upon 2m 1 by alpha pi n minus half and some function of alpha and beta then we have to find what is that particular function of alpha and beta so this is a very straightforward question but you have to solve it without solving you cannot give the answer but during the solution you will have intuition that you will get the some particular solution uh, some particular answer will be the maybe the answer but yes in this type of question we have to solve it completely so let us try to solve it completely so when we are going to solve this particular thing what we have we have our hamiltonian and our hamiltonian is basically p square upon 2m plus vx and uh, this Hamiltonian is equivalent to total energy because it is conservative system. So P square upon 2M plus Vx is there. So what is my P? My P is nothing but 2M E minus Vx. So this is my momentum and we have potential. This potential has very nice form which is minus alpha X. X is less than or equal to zero and beta x if x is greater than 0. And obviously alpha and beta are some positive constant. So when we are going to plot this potential, this potential is something like this. And uh, this is basically Vx versus x. And uh, if the particular value of energy, the particular value of energy, suppose I have this particular value of energy, then what we have? We have basically these two turning points. So this is turning point x1 and this is turning point x2 and we can easily calculate all this turning point also but before that let us write the formula so what is so according to this formula we have to use that uh, uh, the bond the uh, wkv approximation as we have basically x1 to x2 and what we have p dx is equal to n minus half pi h cut where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and so on. You can also use n plus half pi h cut then n will be from the 0, 1, 2, 3. So there is not any problem. The From this particular question we can get this is the uh, basically boundary solution. So the whole challenge is first challenge is what? What is my x1 and what is my x2? So if we are going to write this one then this one is equal to x1 to x2 root under 2m e minus vx dx. So this is my a thing and this must be equal to n minus half pi h cut where n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on. And now what is the value of x1? So we can easily go for writing the value of energy in first region. So when we have in the first region E is equal to P square upon 2M minus alpha X. So that value is equal to minus alpha X. And what will happen? This is these two are the turning point. So P is equal to zero. So X is X1 is equal to minus E upon alpha. So this is your value of X1 and similarly for the second reason, this is for the x is less than or equal to 0, e is equal to again p square by 2m plus beta x, again p is equal to 0, this is all about turning point. So your x2 is equal to e by beta. So these are my x1 and x2 and let's try to go to the complete solution. So let's try to go for that. So for that what we can do? We have this particular equation that is x1 to x2 p dx is equal to n minus half pi h cut and what do I have? 
I have x1 is equal to minus e upon alpha and here you have e upon beta and we have basically p, sorry, this value is equal to, we can easily solve that value is 2m e minus bx dx is equal to n minus, we will take minus sign here, n minus half pi h cap. So now we will just put the value of bx. So we have the range of bx, okay? So you have to put it in this way. So what will be the range? You, when we are going to do this integration, this integration is very interesting. We have minus e upon alpha to zero, and this value is equal to 2m e minus bx is equal to minus alpha x. So this value is plus alpha x and dx. And second range is equal to 0 to e upon beta. And here we have root under 2m e minus beta x dx. And that value is equal to n minus half pi h cut. What we will do, we can easily solve this particular integration. The whole idea is how we are getting solving this particular equation. So when we are going to solve this equation, what we will do, first we will make it come, uh, a dimensionless thing. So what I will do, I will just take root under 2me, common from each and every places. And from here, we have integration minus e upon alpha to 0 root under 1 plus alpha by e into x dx and plus second term is equal to 0 and we are just taking this one as a bracket 0 to e upon beta we have 1 minus beta upon e x dx. So now these all are dimensionless quantity so we can easily solve this particular integration. So let us try to solve this integration. So what we will put we will just put this whole term as a y, 1 plus, because this is constant, so 1 plus alpha x is equal to some y1, and then we can go for this. So let's try to go for this integration. This integration is very interesting. So what we have, we have basically root under 2me, and uh, we have minus e upon alpha to 0, root under 1 plus alpha by e x dx plus 0 to e upon beta root under 1 minus beta by e x dx and that value is equal to n minus half pi h cut. So what do I will do? I will just put 1 plus alpha by e x is equal to let's say some t1. So what will happen at x is equal to 0, this value is equal to 1, at x is equal to minus e by alpha, this value is equal to 0. So this integration is something root under 2me and uh, this integration is 0 to 1 and we have root under t1 and we have dt1 and what we will take, we will take e by alpha outside this particular integration. Similarly, what we will do, we will just go for this one also. So we have 1 minus beta by e x is equal to t2. And again, we have the integration plus e upon beta, you will go to 0 to 1 root under t2 dt. And that value we have to calculate and this value is equal to n minus half pi h cut. So now this integration is very simple and now you have in intuition. So you can take e upon alpha and e upon beta is there. So we can get answer. So once you are going to solve this one, so what we will get? We will get root under 2me and you can take e uh, also outside this particular integration and what we have 1 upon alpha into this value is equal to 2 by 3 plus 1 upon beta into 2 by 3. 
So this is your integration, and this value is equal to n minus half pi h cut. And now we have to go for e to the power 3 by 2. So when we are getting e to the power 3 by 2, that value is equivalent to 3 by 2. And you can just put it in the same way. You have h cut square upon 2m to the power 1 by 2. And you have n minus half pi. And what will be this value? This 1 by, so you have alpha beta and then alpha plus beta. So this term will be also come there. So what will be your answer? So you can just compare each and everything and you will get the answer. And that value is equal to basically this one. This one is the your answer. So that will be alpha beta by alpha plus beta. This is just you can take 1 by alpha plus 1 by beta. When it will come here into this side, that value is alpha beta by alpha plus beta. So this is a really nice question. You have to just keep patience how to solve it completely, but you have intuition. When you are coming into this stage, when you are coming into this stage, you can easily find that something 1 by alpha and 1 by beta will remain there. When it will go into this side, you can get it easily this particular answer. But don't worry, student. this is the straightforward question. Only what you have to do, you have to patiently solve this question. So just try this question with yourself. And we have discussed this type of question in our class also. You remember, we have discussed the WKB approximation, Vx is equal to some alpha mod x. So this is the exactly same type of thing is there. Only here you can have this particular, this can be written in term of this particular thing. So only coefficient is going to change, but the essence of the problem is exactly same. Thank you.